Today our topic is chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics. Okay, how it is arrived? How it is arrived? Initially, thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. Thermodynamics deals with thermodynamics deals with whether a particular reaction is feasible or not. If you take some uh, particular reaction, it is feasible or not. Okay. If you take some of the reaction, for example, A to B reaction is feasible or not. It occurs or not. Feasible or not. Feasible. Okay, feasible or are not feasible, not feasible. If, if del G, del G, del G less than zero, it is feasible. If, if del G, del G greater than zero, not feasible. We know from the first year syllabus. Okay, next. What is chemical equilibrium? Chemical equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium deals with how extent the reaction will go? How much extent the reaction will proceed? For example, take two, two reactions. A gives rise to B. And then another example, another equilibrium, uh, B to C. Equilibrium, B to C. Then you can observe the K1. It is taken as 10 to the of 1. And it is 10 to the power of 5. These are the examples. Examples. Okay. What do you observe from these two reactions? Reaction 2 is proceed in greater extent than compared to the reaction 1. So, K2 is greater than K1. So, 10 to the power of 5 is much greater than compared to the 10 to the power of 1. So, Reaction 2 can proceed in greater extent. Greater extent, the products are maximum. Um, here we can expect maximum products then compared to the this one reaction. Okay. So, this reaction can proceed greater extent. You can understand it. This reaction can proceed in greater extent. So, then these two, these two covers, thermodynamics and chemical equilibrium covers, uh, what they say, what they say, these two reactions, first reaction says, says it feasible or not, the reaction is occurs or not. The second one, a chemical equilibrium uh, says, how extent the reaction is, will proceed, will proceed. Okay, they cannot, these two reactions, these two concepts, these two concepts are from the first year uh, chemistry, chemistry uh, syllabus. Okay, these two reactions cannot cover the speed of the chemical reaction. They cannot say how much speed it takes for, uh, for occurring these two reactions. So, another topic leads to speed of chemical reaction. Okay, this is first one and this is second one, third one. Says speed of chemical reaction. Speed of a chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. Which is leads to the, which is leads to the chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics. Chemicals kinetics movements movement okay the speed of chemical reaction 
the speed of chemical reaction deals with chemical kinetics chemical kinetics so how the chemical kinetics is arrived we know from this way thermodynamics is feasible or not whether the reaction is occurs or not then the chemical equilibrium says how extend the reaction will proceed then the speed of chemical reaction they can, these two topics cannot mention the speed of chemical reaction the speed of chemical reaction is mentioned in chemical kinetics in chemical kinetics examples speed of chemical reaction examples okay rusting of iron r u s t i n g rusting of iron rusting of iron this is kinetically kinetically it is slow reaction kinetically it is slow reaction kinetically it is slow reaction rusting of iron is slow process or it is a slow reaction next acid base reactions acid base reactions acid base reactions are fast reactions fast reactions that is fast reactions okay rusting of iron it takes a lot of time you can observe in daily life rusting of iron iron it takes uh, months or years to rusting of the any iron object next acid base reactions are very fast reactions okay if you mix acid and base they react instantly it cannot takes any time for reacting okay acid base reactions are fast reactions okay the speed of chemical reaction it deal with the chemical kinetics okay rusting of iron is slow reaction acid base reactions are fast reactions okay next concept is rate of chemical reaction rate of chemical reaction what is rate of chemical reaction okay now let us deal with rate of chemical reaction rate of chemical reaction rate of chemical reaction rate of chemical reaction okay rate of chemical reaction what is um, what is the definition for it rate of chemical reaction what is the definition for it okay change change in concentration of reactant or product change in concentration of reactant or our product in unit time is known as rate of reaction what is the rate of reaction change in change in concentration of reactant or product in unit time is known as rate of reaction okay change in okay you may add the change in the change in the change in the change in concentration of the change in concentration of concentration of reactant 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 or or product change in concentration of reactant or or product in unit time unit time is known as rate of chemical reaction is known as rate of chemical reaction okay okay take some more take some more examples to discuss this concept in detail okay okay for example take an a reaction 
R gives rest to the product. Reactant gives rest to the product. Initially, initially T is equal to 0. T is equal to 0. Then we may call it as R0. The product at a time T is equal to 0, at a time T is equal to 0, R is known as R0. Products are not found initially. Initially, T is, at T is equal to 0, 0 time. Okay, reactants cannot proceed to the formation of the product at initial stage T time is equal to 0. Then product concentration is 0. Product concentration is 0. After some time, T is equal to, we may read as T1. After some time, reactant concentration goes on decreases and product concentration is increases. Then reactant concentration is R1. Reactant concentration is R1. The product concentration is P1. The product concentration is P1. After some time, after some time, uh, T is equal to T2, then again reactant concentration gradually decreases, gradually decreases and the product concentration gradually increases in a particular, any particular reaction, okay. Then R is equal to R2, then P is minus P2, P is equal to uh, product concentration taken as P2, okay. Then, okay, you may write like this, del T is equal to T2 minus T1, okay, next, del R is, you can write as R2 my final concentration minus initial concentration, okay, next, del P del P is equal to P2 minus P1. Okay. You may treat like this. Okay. Rate of rate of disappearance of R disappearance of R is equal to rate of disappearance of disappearance of r is equal to decrease in concentration of r decrease in concentration of r decrease in concentration of r divided by time taken for decrease time taken for decrease time taken for decrease is equal to minus del r by del t. We may treat it as okay. By del r by del t. Oh, take another form of this rate. Rate of rate of appearance of appearance of appearance of rate of appearance of product rate of appearance of product is equal to increase in con increase in increase in increase in concentration of increase in concentration of uh, p divided by time taken for increasing here time taken time taken for increase, increase which is noted as del p by del t del p by del t del p by del t okay in this way we can mention rate of 
डिसअपियरेंस ऑफ आर इज इक्वल टू डिक्रीज इन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ आर बाय टाइम टेकन फॉर डिक्रीज ओके इट इज इट इज इंडिकेटेड एज माइनस डेल आर बाय डेल टी माइनस डेल आर बाय डेल टी देन अनदर वे रेट ऑफ अपीरेंस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट रेट ऑफ अपीरेंस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इट इज इंडिकेटेड एज इंक्रीज इन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट time taken for increase these two are here they mentioned negative sign here it is positive sign why they mentioned here positive sign why they mentioned negative sign here okay why they mentioned uh, negative sign here why they mentioned positive sign here they mentioned negative sign because for a particular reaction for a particular any reaction concentration of reactant decreases with increase in the time after some time reactant concentration decreases in with respect to the product concentration of product concentration concentration of product increases with increasing time with increasing time concentration of products increases here reactant concentration decreases product concentration uh, increases so that is the reason why they mentioned negative sign here positive sign here okay you may calculate another way also okay you may calculate it another way also let us take some more, uh, for example concentration of reactant initially it is 2.5 after some time uh, it is taken as 2.0 then this 0.5 gap is converted into 0.5 and then after some time reactant concentration is decreases further okay we make it as 1.5 then this gap is included with product concentration this is 0.5 plus 0.5 increases it is treated as 1.0 here it is treated as the missing one it is included this one it is converted into this one time is also roughly taken as a t1 is equal to 5 minutes and it is taken as the 10 minutes okay. these are the rough values for our um, clarification why they given positive sign here why why they are given negative sign here okay why they are given positive sign here okay then minus del r means r2 minus r1 r2 minus r1 1.5 minus 2.0 divided by t2 del t means t2 minus t1 10 minus 5 so it is indicates minus minus 0 0.5 by minus 5 okay minus okay 10 minus 5 5 okay after subtracting 1.5 minus 2.0 it is like this okay then 0 0.5 the value is 5 then it is treated as 0 0.1 then it is treated as 0 0.1 take another this one take this example del p del p means p2 minus p1 the concentrations are 1 minus uh, 1.0 minus 0 0.5 okay finally 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 after subtracting these two 0 0.5 by 5 is minus 0 0.1 so these two are equal 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 which says rate of disappearance of r and rate of appearance of p are equal to each other so that is the reason why they taken as negative sign the negative sign which also helps to rate of appearance of r in positive value and which is also indicates rate of appearance of product is also something positive value.
okay this is the way uh, they mentioned negative sign and they mentioned here the positive sign also okay next graphs what are the graphs with respect to the reactant and with respect to the products what are the graphs are present what are the graphs are present what are the graphs are present what are the graphs can explain um, rate of reaction rate of reaction uh, for, with respect to the reactant and with respect to the products what are the graphs are there um, what are the graphs are there for representation of the rate of reaction with respect to reactant or product constant take this uh, y axis and x axis in x axis we take as time time in x axis in y axis take concentration of reactant concentration of concentration of reactant reactant any reactant any reactant initially the initially concentration is r not any reactant initial concentration is r not for any reaction after time decreases time increases time increases concentration of reactant concentration of reactant decreases with the time increases time increases like this okay concentration of reactant decreases after increasing the time okay t1 time at t1 time you may draw a line like this okay it is r indicated as r1 after some time t2 after some time t2 reactant concentration is r2 taken as r2 okay then del r average r average is indicated as minus del r by del t del r by minus del r by del t del r means r2 minus r1 minus r2 r2 minus r1 okay r2 minus r1 divided by divided by t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 okay t2 minus t1 next what is means of r average okay we we call it as r average what is the meaning of it what is the meaning of r average r average means rate of reaction in these two points between these two points here rate of reaction is some value here it is also rate of reaction is some value then these in between these in this area rate rate is known as r average r average in these from this point to this point rate is known as r average is known as r average it cannot change the rate of reaction is here and here 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 the rate is same it is known as r average what is the means of r instant how to what is the meaning of r instant okay how to determine r instant r instant r instant means we want to know what is the rate of reaction at a particular time at a particular time or instant instantaneously what is the rate of reaction okay here it is our average average means between these two timings between these two times timings the between these two timings what is the rate of reaction is known as our average 
okay our average means the physical meaning of this is between these two different time intervals between these two time intervals rate of reaction is known as r av r average what about r instant r instant means at a particular time at a particular time what is the rate of reaction at a particular time you make a uh, you make a dry line like this okay and calculate the slope okay you may calculate the slope for particular time at particular time is known as r instant r instant is known as minus uh, dr by dt dr by dt okay at a particular time what is the rate what is the rate at a particular time okay this is known as r average it is lies in between two time intervals but r instant at a particular time what is the uh, what is the rate at a particular time you may mention it at 25 minutes what is the rate is known as r instant at 25 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes you can calculate the rate like this okay which is leads to the slope which is leads to the slope slope of a uh, which is leads to the slope for this uh, for this one okay average means between two time intervals between two time intervals what is the rate of reaction between two time two time intervals what is the rate of reaction in this way similarly you may also calculate the you may also calculate the um, rate of reaction or average and the product uh, with respect to the product you may calculate the r average and r instant with respect to the products also products also you may calculate like this okay in this y axis you take as concentration of reactants concentration of concentration of reactants reactants oh sorry concentration of products products and then it is taken at the time here it is taken at the time okay okay any particular reaction any particular reaction concentration of product increases gradually increases gradually for any reaction for any reaction r gives rise to product concentration of reactant decreases and concentration of product increases gradually we know okay for this particular reaction for particular reaction for calculation of the r average how to calculate the r average okay product concentration gradually increases okay at a particular time t1 time product concentration we mean called it as p1 product concentration we may call it as p1 okay after time t2 time t2 product concentration is p2 we may call it as p2 concentration is p2 okay our average means our average means for this reaction our average means del p by del p by del t means p2 concentration of product minus this one by t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 next r instant r instant how to calculate r instant r instant here is also the same concept we want to know the rate rate of reaction at particular time okay r average means in 
between these two time intervals what is the rate of reaction between these two time intervals what is the rate of reaction is known as r average but you want to know particular time what is the rate of reaction of particular time r 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes what is the time of reaction okay at particular time at particular time okay you make some dry a line like this and make a slope for it and calculate it is known as the slope indicates r instant okay r instant means dp by dt dp by dp by dt dp by dt so in this way you can calculate the R average and R instant for any particular reaction. For, you know, we can calculate the R average and R instant for any particular reaction. Okay. Okay. Next, next concept is what is what is the units of rate of reaction? What is the units of rate of reaction? Okay. Units of rate of reaction units okay units of units units of uh, rate of reaction rate of reaction units of rate of reaction what is the um, units units of rate of reaction okay we may know from these two point of view you may know from this two point of view concentration of product by time okay r okay r is equal to concentration term concentration term concentration concentration by time okay so we mentioned is moles per liter for concentration and time second inverse for time Mention is second inverse. Okay, time for time. For anyone, any reaction, uh, R average with respect to product or R average with respect to reactant. In these two uh, concepts, there is common point is concentration by time. Okay, concentration by time, change in concentration by time, change in concentration of product with respect to time. So you may write down concentration of concentration term by time. Concentration units moles per liter time second inverse. Okay, uh, this is the way units of rate of reaction is determined. Okay, next if uh, if the reactants are products in gas state. Okay, this this units are valid for uh, reactant or products in liquid state. If the reactants are product in gas state for gases for gases products are reactants products or are reactants reactants we mentioned it as question as atm for concentration atm second inverse atm second inverse atm second inverse okay next topic next one is what is the um, relation R average and R instant? What is the relation between R average and R instant? R average, R average is equal to R instant, R instant at limit del T is equal to del T leads to the zero. RAV in RAV time difference is equal to zero, then RAV is leads to the R instant. RAV leads to the R instant. Okay, time difference if uh, we take R average, the time difference is zero, then we may it be called as R instant. For any reaction, time difference is zero then read R average is known as R instant that the particular one uh, treated as a R instant. Okay, R average is treated as a 
or instant for any particular reaction okay uh, this is the way you can represent now uh, we can discuss um, rate of reaction in rate of reaction with respect to the graph so with respect to the reactants and with respect to the products okay